In this video you will see the latest Toronto Blue Jays news, trades targets and rumors today. Let's go! For perfect trade partners that could help transform the Blue Jays. Chicago White Sox Without a doubt, the Blue Jays will face a significant void in their outfield due to Kevin Kiermaier's probable exit. Similarly, there is no denying that the White Sox are currently stuck in baseball limbo. Taking these two factors into account, there seems to be a perfect fit. It's clear that the player who would make sense for the Blue Jays to pursue is none other than Luis Robert Jr. The Cuban power hitter had an outstanding 2023 season with 38 home runs and a B-war of 5 in only 145 games played. His skill set precisely addresses Toronto's offensive deficiencies from last year making him ideally suited as their left fielder while Dalton Varsho shifts over to center field. Chicago also finds it reasonable as their major league players are undergoing a significant decline, leaving no potential for growth in the near future. The team appears to have considered trading ace Dylan Cease, which signifies their lack of optimism about the club's prospects in the short run. Securing a trade deal for Robert presents difficulties due to both his exceptional performance and the four years of club control remaining on his contract. Acquiring him would likely require sacrificing some combination of top prospects such as Ricky Tiedemann, Aurelvis Martinez, Addison Barger, Alec Manoa, and Brandon Barrera. While this is alluring, it's also fraught with risk considering Robert's history of injuries that have not been favorable. If Toronto manages to make a deal, they will gain the services of a fresh star outfielder who could assist their present team in competing for the World Series Championship. There is also the possibility that this player might stay with them over an extended period if everything goes according to plan regarding their union agreement. Cleveland Guardians Assessing a team like the Guardians is tricky since their pitching prowess can be overpowering and they may possess ample offensive firepower to clinch victory in the Central Division. Conversely, there remains a possibility that they might experience another unfulfilling season akin to last year. No matter what course Cleveland takes to steer their future, the Blue Jays can certainly find some fascinating assets. Among them is Jose Ramirez, an exceptional third baseman ranked in the top three players of his position across baseball and with a remarkable contract. Especially given that there's no assurance for Matt Chapman's comeback. Acquiring him would provide enhancements or act as a replacement altogether. Toronto might be interested in exploring Cleveland's pitching wealth, whether as part of a Ramirez trade or an independent deal. They could target the bullpen specifically by making a splashy move for Emmanuel Clace or flying under the radar with Eli Morgan, who is contracted to play for at least three years more. If the team aims for top tier prospects within their top 10 list, acquiring Clace would require a considerable investment since he still has five years of club control. Nonetheless, it will be worth pursuing such move. If you aim to capture Ramirez and a reliever, it will require more than Tiedemann alone. A package similar to the hypothetical one for Robert Jr. may be necessary. If this is the case, don't hesitate to proceed with the deal. St. Louis Cardinals There is only one name, Nolan Arenado. Is Toronto capable of making a trade for him with their assets? The answer is both yes and no. Yes, they could potentially give up most of their farm resources to acquire one of the top third basemen in baseball history. However, it may not be worth the cost. In 2023, Arenado's performance dipped as he achieved a 109 OPS plus following his third place ranking in the NL MVP vote. Additionally, shortly after next season begins, he will turn 33 years old. However, despite these concerns, his defensive play remains exceptional and there is precedent for him to rebound from a slump. As an avid supporter though, it is challenging to accurately assess his trade value. His contract is the primary factor. Though his final year pay declines to $15 million, which isn't terrible, it's concerning due to the acquisition of a full no-trade clause. The other red flag comes from deferring $30 million of his salary between 2022 to 2026 into interest-free annual payments that stretch over nine years ranging from 2032 to 2041. Acquiring Arenado would be a lucrative trade for Toronto, provided he maintains his exceptional performance as one of the league's top-tier players. This is particularly crucial given their current core roster with limited time left to excel. Taking advantage while his value may not be at its peak makes now an opportune moment for exchange. Otherwise, managing to reach a deal without losing key players like Tiedemann could mean considering absorbing contracts similar to Steven Matz's. Colorado Rockies Although the roster appears unimpressive, there are intriguing elements. Particularly noteworthy is Nolan Jones, 
who made a splash in his debut season with 20 homers and an impressive 4.3 B war across only 106 games as a Rocky. As he is currently pre-arbitration eligible and highly valuable, it's uncertain whether Colorado would consider trading him now or not, nevertheless, Atkins should definitely reach out to inquire about him. To acquire Jones now, the Blue Jays would need to sacrifice a top 10 prospect at least. However, there is a slight chance they could hold on to Tiedemann and retain Martinez slash Barrera slash Nimala with the trade offer. As for potential bargaining chips from within their top prospects pool that align better with Colorado's timeline, Leo Jimenez, Alan Roden, and Landon Maraudis are viable options. Ryan McMahon provides an attractive alternative at a more affordable rate, as he possesses excellent defensive skills and could potentially replace Matt Chapman. Although his conventional offensive statistics are worrying since he has yet to achieve a 100 OPS plus throughout his career, evidence suggests that if Ryan can address his issues with strikeouts, there is potential for him to contribute substantially in the power department. While acquiring relief pitcher Daniel Bard is not a completely unfavorable decision, it does pose some risk due to his worrisome command problems and underwhelming performance in the previous season, possibly the worst of his career. Nonetheless, there's potential for him to regain form similar to that displayed in 2022, which brought about a commendable finish at 16th place during NL MVP voting. Furthermore, considering that he becomes free agent after 2024, he could be included effortlessly as part of trade deals concerning Jones or McMahon with no extra cost prospects needed. Just one Blue Jays player makes the 2023 All-MLB team. Over the weekend, Major League Baseball revealed their annual All-MLB first and second teams. Blue Jays fans eagerly awaited to see how many of their players made the cut. According to Paul Casella from MLB.com, only Kevin Gaussman was chosen as part of 32 players selected for this honor. He landed a spot on the second team as one of five starting pitchers. Of course, some may argue that more Blue Jays deserved recognition in these teams but it is important to consider each team's overall performance throughout the season. This explains why last year's World Series champions Rangers took six spots while Braves with an amazing record-breaking win reached up until fifth place along with three first-team members. The voting process consisted equally among experts panels, 50%, and fan votes, 50%. There might be opinions stating that support towards specific teams could have impacted individual selections via fandom power, however we cannot ignore advantages given specifically toward Toronto during other events such as All-Star Games they've excelled before. L despite any controversy or snubs regarding who got left out, having just one representative player being included amongst respected company like Gaussman still signifies accomplishment in itself. Although Bo Bichette deserves respect, the most dependable player for the Blue Jays throughout 2023 was their right-handed pitcher. Kevin Gaussman took on a leadership role as Alec Manoa struggled unexpectedly and emerged as the top performer in their pitching staff with his record of 12-9 over 31 starts. He exhibited excellent stats like a low ERA of 3.16, FIP of 2.97. Whip of 1.178 across an impressive pitch count recording him at 185 innings pitched. Moreover, Gaussman demonstrated AL strikeout leading performance by netting a career-high milestone of 237 strikeouts, 5 wins above replacement, 5.F war, and grabbed all-star start hashtag 2.The high spot being that he placed third over Allen voting for AL Cy Young Award. There were other players from Blue Jays roster who could also make it to all MLB team squad, however, the merit goes direct light of those whose actual accomplishments surpasses only potential. To exemplify this, Vladimir Guerrero. Junior demonstrates at best, what this all showcase is how much underachievement, rather than expected or anticipated come, costed them last season, next year they must aspire and elevate themselves through gaussman type performances, this elevating motivation can help Blue Jays to become a true challengers no longer just hopeful contenders fans have been waiting patiently to witness on an occasional whimsy basis.